Well, hello to all and welcome to your uh, September 25th through to the 26th of 2024 spiritual advice reading. So we've got a waning crescent moon, which is about releasing and moving on, forgiving and forgetting. Going to closer to then the 27th and 28th. So we had Gemini. Gemini during the last quarter moon of the 24th was about keeping a cool head, uh, reflecting a little bit, forgiving and releasing. Now it's about moving on and eventually stepping into the spotlight. Uh, working hard to impress others will bring uh, praise and admiration to many. And if there is any form of criticism, Spirit is saying, use the criticisms as positive feedback, right? Create change in your life. Let things unfold and be more tolerant because wonderful new journeys are being manifested in uh, the month of October with Spirit's assistance. Major arcana uh, journeys or chapters are closing and now we're starting at the very beginning of uh, paths that will unfold for the long term if we walk in our positive juju, right? So I'm going to start off this reading with the Kipper deck by Chiro Marchetti and then we'll confirm and clarify as we move on. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides and Angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages for the 25th and 26th of September of 2024. All right, so Spirit right away wants to talk either to this main female or to someone who is thinking about a main female in their life. Ooh, now in the thoughts position, I do feel like with, so we have had, or are going to have two new moon eclipses in 2024. The first one was on April 8th. The next one is coming on October 2nd. Uh, this new moon will then be amplified. Uh, there will be an awareness of sudden wealth, right? Great abundance as a result of one's hard work. And that will help for the collective to heal and progress beyond the past. Uh, it is, there will be amplified intimacy and really good love with close ones, family, and friends. Uh, surprise good news about finances because there is a closure of a major chapter and now spirit is helping with the commencement of the new and profound. In other words, new ideas and dreams that people have been working towards are going to bring this energy of sudden unexpected wealth to mind, especially for a main female is what I'm feeling here. Yeah. Now, in relation to another or others, we have some form of professional because that blue suit is jumping out at me, offering some form of unexpected income. Now, because it's in the relationship sector, this could be relation to family, friends, a reference, a new job. Uh, but there is some form of unexpected income that is coming to mind. Now, the number 27 is jumping out at me. So it could very well be around September 27th with the waning crescent moon in leo uh, there's going to be praise and admiration there's going to be the impressing of others around us as a result again of our hard work so some may receive some form of unexpected income sudden wealth coming to mind around the 27th of september if it doesn't show up uh here on the 25th or 26th Okay, so in the creative aspects position, what happens now is we have this popular privileged lady energy. Uh, this main female has created for herself uh, a very privileged and stable, financially abundant uh, income or wealth uh, as a result, again, of their hard work. Something coming in quite unexpectedly, putting this female from the main female energy into this privileged female energy. Now, in the actions position, right, there's confirmation here with the high honor card in the actions position. So, Spirit's saying uh, the actions that this main female has been and is still putting in to her projects, ideas, or connections with others is bringing this sudden unexpected income, putting this privileged lady not only into the energy of greater abundance, but of high honor. Now, emotionally, there maybe was this energy of poverty, worry and concern about whether or not 
your hard work will pay off so i think in hindsight i think by the end of the day on the twenty sixth of september for some there's going to come this awareness that you were fearing poverty or that you didn't have or make enough and now that has changed now in the subconscious position i have been talking to a lot of my subscribers who are fearing this false person energy fearing that someone can't be trusted you can see a feminine here who's hiding behind her fan a masculine who's wearing a mask uh, so you know i think if you're a single person there just may be some fear i don't see it as reality i see it as past trauma playing out in fear that the high honor and attention and recognition you're receiving isn't enough because you are fearing that person is being false but i don't feel that is the case at least you, there won't be an awareness of that on the 25th and 26th of september now in the day-to-day -day aspects position we have this imprisonment energy that's been a popular card as of late as well so we have a main female who's feeling stuck or trapped in her circumstances we have some form of connection here who's bringing in some unexpected income uh, the awareness of sudden unexpected wealth that is not only giving this female a very privileged energy and high honors but is freeing this female from some form of imprisonment feeling stuck or trapped in this energy of not receiving enough emotionally or the energy of poverty right worries and fears wow so in the inner strengths position mm -hmm. spirit is giving the collective the strength during the 25th and 26th of september to push beyond uh, the worries that cause despair that's right above the sudden wealth the unexpected income um yeah high honor will free this feminine from worry and despair high honors is coming i'm getting the 25th it could even be today so if that's the case thank you guys for letting me know via the comment section and or via email now we have this concerned male who's looking at this official person who's bringing in great fortune so in some cases i feel like there are masculines now i feel like these this is someone in a relationship in some cases first we're going to talk about that first uh, so we have a female who's again working very hard regarding her occupation and a masculine who is concerned about her maybe in some cases where there's a partnership the masculine doesn't feel like her hard work is going to pay off but i think he's in for a surprise now in other cases i feel like there is a hard-working feminine who's ready to move on towards a position of greater income and the boss supervisor manager ceo whoever someone here is concerned uh, because she's moving forward towards something greater concerned because that then would involve the completion of a journey together right it would be it would involve forward movement into a new path so we have this female here who's either already on the 25th concerned about a situation and offer an opportunity or a journey towards a new direction that's that's what i'm really feeling concerned about going into the direction of a journey but why it will free you from imprisonment and put you in this privileged energy of greater and high honor now someone thinking about traveling at a distance maybe a year a new journey of course lies elsewhere yeah, an official person uh, regarding a new community or group of people, new location of sorts, is freeing this feminine from uh, negative, deceptive people. So if you are dealing with someone here who is a false person or that you fear that is, Spirit is saying uh, communication is very important. Or some, during the 25th or 26th of September, are going to send a message to another and say, look, this courtship has ended i am being offered a brand new path a path that is blessed i've received exciting news at home or while i was sitting at home and i am wanting to create a change because there's a situation i'm in that is not healthy however that message applies to you remember spirit saying you are not stuck in this energy of imprisonment uh, you can move forward into a path that is much more fortunate and abundant so with the child card maybe uh, this greater fortune is uh, leading someone to think about making a decision that involves family or a child or children 
this is also the child card a representation of a new beginning where there is a path towards greater fortune where that's where uh, there's an awareness here that uh, someone feels very privileged because of the high honor that is freeing him or her from despair. And as soon as I saw him, I looked down and saw two masculines. So we have a wealthy male and a mature male. We have someone who may be freeing themselves from one masculine person because there's nothing being offered there or they're not making enough. And now a more mature male, professionally or personally, is stepping in, bringing high honor. Yeah, a main male may start to think, oh my gosh, what decision should I make now that this main female is matured and grown and evolved? Yeah, someone's going to be looking sideways at this main female because she is receiving high honor and greater and more sudden, unexpected wealth. So let's see who we're talking about, shall we? So I'm going to be confirming and clarifying these messages with the Game of Thrones tarot deck. Seems quite appropriate for some reason. All right, so... Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the collective on September 25th, going into and through the 26th of 2024. Any astrological signs and or elements of who by which we should bring up? Okay, so we have judgment right off the bat on the 25th of September. We have a major arcana in the form of the judgment card. So we have a main female here who is thinking about making a decision, who is being assisted with the major arcana of the judgment card uh, by spirit. We're going to help to bring you signs and synchronicities as to which direction by which you should now go. Yeah, there's going to be this awareness. I'm getting like 11 or 12 in the early morning, afternoon, or like midday. Someone here is going to receive some form of unexpected message that helps them to come into an awareness that they have created a foundation that is stable and secure. A decision will be need, need to be made, but it seems rather simple. Oh my goodness, we've got another major arcana, judgment regarding the wheel of fortune that is now turning in someone's favor here. Unexpected income is coming to mind in relation to another or others. If it doesn't happen on the 25th or 26th, it could very well show up on the 27th. Now, in the creative aspects position, yeah, someone can sit here crying over spilt milk, over what used to be, over uh, empty offers, or can seek out uh, an opportunity because it's time to go forward for someone here. It's time to close the door on one path and to free yourself from the imprisonment card in the day-to-day -day aspects position. So with the Leo energy of the sun in the actions position, there is indeed some form of mature male that could be uh, in a relationship with someone um, or professionally, but there is high honor, attention, recognition, and happiness coming as a result of one's actions. Uh, for some, it may take until uh, 5 p.m. on the 26th. <coughs> Pardon me. I need to get a sip. Okay, so your actions are leading you into the spotlight, helping for you to make a decision to turn that wheel of fortune or allow it to turn into your favor when this un un unexpected income arrives. Now, there is a message here for those who feel stuck, indecisive uh, about the truth. Right, Spirit saying, if you're feeling energies of poverty, like you don't have enough or, or fear that you don't have a foundation that's stable, we are helping you to go into the direction of a path of victory, to come out of this energy of indecision. Now, of course, there is someone who's trying to make a decision with the judgment card to go forth into the direction of an unexpected offer of greater wealth, <clears throat> attention, and high honor. And it just is emotionally might feel a little bit scary. Now, in the subconscious position, we have the King of Spears or Wands energy. Again, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, someone bringing in high honor, someone who may be in a leadership position of sorts. And there could be a fear, professionally or personally, as to whether or not this offer or person can be trusted. 
the spirit is saying that we will help you to make the highest best decision to free you from crying over spilt milk and from this energy of imprisonment we are bringing you to a peaceful resolution in the day-to-day -day aspects position a cause for celebration so do not cry over what was it's time to move forward to make a decision to receive this unexpected income and high honor even if you are conflicted emotionally about the decision spirit is saying celebrate this opportunity for you are headed in the to the direction of this privileged lady energy or privileged male so in the inner strengths position we have the popular king i'm um, sorry knight of cups energy a very playful energy so spirit saying we're giving you the strength to overstep energies of worry and despair we are giving you very playful energy to playfully go forth into the direction maybe of a main female or that is you to make a decision to receive what this mature male has to offer three card summary three of pentacles ten of cups and the page of coins beautiful so if you've been working hard on something in the area of money, finance, career, spirit saying, keep on keeping on, trust with the major arcana, the hanging man spirits helping you to uh, sit in prayer until they can uh, make things turn out in a divinely timed way. Yeah, there's going to come a quick and unexpected connection that feels right. That's going to heal the collective from sadness, worry, fear, uh, all those wonderful things, just like with the Two of Swords in the emotional aspects position. So the Ten of Cups is an, a happily ever after, great emotional fulfillment, and then there will be the laying down of that which weighed heavy upon you, spears or wands representing home, family, or business. Definitely false people. And when I said that, right behind that, we had the lies and deceptive energy of the Seven of Swords wish fulfillment so unexpected offers opportunities from a business organization these things are coming in there will be an awareness by the end of the day on the 26th of september for some that good news has shown up in the area of money and now we can step into the night nine of coins so this is a very financially independent stable secure energy and a message from spirit to go get a massage take a sea salt bath uh treat yourself for you have given birth with spirits assistance an opportunity from the king of coins uh, in some cases this could be I'm giving birth to a connection with a mature male who has earth Virgo Taurus Capricorn who is uh, leading me forward into a more playful direction even though I fear them and the other message is that spirits helping the empress to give birth to a connection with someone who's in a leadership position who's financially abundant stable and secure because they're saying we're helping you now to leave your worries and concerns behind to go towards the star wish fulfillment the so spirit is helping the collective to create wish fulfillment because it will bring a greater unexpected wealth a greater income happiness and <clears throat> peace freedom from despair so i'm going to close this message uh, this reading with a message from the archangel michael sword of light deck closing message please regarding this circle spread for the collective during the 25th and 26th of september so the 16th you are going into the direction of a new path of success your current challenges will soon be resolved. What did I say? 11 o'clock? That's looking to me like 11 or 12. Uh, for some, let me know. <clears throat> you will be able to look to the future with a smile. As soon as this shows up, there's a complete shift and a reason to celebrate. So celebrate these accomplishments or what, sh what comes your way. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Uh, I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering, actually no, I'm going to say I'm now offering 
the fall special, which is a 15 minute, one month video reading for just $25. If you'd like to give that a try, I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who've been coming to me for the summer special, uh, now the fall special, hopefully, uh, and uh, to those who have continued to come back for additional spiritual advice. Thank you for your support and your trust. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes, but most importantly, a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.